That garbage truck plowed through cars right here on this hill in New Brighton. In fact, you can see the skid marks going all the way down the street. No one was behind the wheel of the truck at the time, but it was all caught on this surveillance camera. Lisa Ferguson put cameras on her house to catch vandals, but instead got a crystal clear look at the runaway garbage truck smashing into her family's cars. What went through your head when you saw that video? How crazy it was, how tragic it could have been. It happened Friday on 10th Street in New Brighton. Here's the video in full. The garbage truck already has one car jammed under it when it takes out a second car, pushing it down the hill, running up on the sidewalk, and wiping out garbage cans. It stops out of view after smashing into at least five cars. Two of them belong to Lisa's mother and son. Then watch this a waste management worker running after the truck. A few seconds later, a second one follows behind, trying to catch up. What were you thinking when you saw that? Um, scared. I was shocked. There was nobody watching the truck. We went to Waste Management's office in Ambridge to get answers. No one would speak on camera, but a spokeswoman said the crash is under investigation. That's more than Lisa says she's gotten from the company. We have not even heard from them. Not at all. A report from New Brighton Police says the garbage truck driver got out and walked 10 feet away to talk to a supervisor. Then somehow the brakes, quote, disengaged. Lisa says because waste management isn't talking, both her son and her mother are having to use their own insurance and cash to cover the damage. Be more responsible. There could have been lives lost. A spokeswoman for waste management wouldn't say if the driver has been suspended or disciplined at all for this crash, but did say the trucks have cameras in the cabins. They'll be looking at that video as part of the investigation. Reporting in New Brighton, Bob Hazen, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.